All right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hump day. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope everybody's doing good today. So, we missed a birthday yesterday. Oh. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me say oh. this. I'm going to go ahead. Oh. I missed a birthday yesterday. And he's in trouble because he didn't tell me till after the call. And I actually, Petra told me. Alan Schultz's birthday was yesterday. And he wishes everybody happy birthdays. And he's always a great member of the Coach's Corner. So we're going to sing to him after this is over. And he said he might not get on this morning. So I don't know if that's our voice is piercing to his ears or what that meant. So hopefully he's here. And uh, I, I know he had a great day yesterday. And uh, we love you, Alan. Appreciate you. So. Well, I think that I'm speechless. I'm, I'm, I, it's my fault because I wasn't here. I, I, well, that's okay. That's okay. We're going to roll right on. We got to get this. We, we, we're moving now. All right. The word for this morning is mess. <laughs> it's a great word for missing somebody's birthday. Mess. If you look at the definition of mess, have, First of all, do you think you ever have mess in your life? No, Cheryl Bell's like, no, I just, I've got a clean sailing day to day to day. I never have a mess in my life. Uh, well, if you look at the definition, it says a situation or state of affairs that is confused or full of difficulties. And I want to tell you, not only do I have mess in my life, there's days, and yesterday was one of them for me, that a lot of times I make the mess worse. <laughs> have you ever done that? Like there's mess, and then you multiply the mess by your actions. And yesterday for me was that. I don't have to, I won't go into any detail. But, you know, I was thinking about that as I was preparing for this lesson, and I'm 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 like, my first thought was, man, I can make something messy even more messy. But where I want to go with this this morning is, what about if we just embrace the mess? And Albert Einstein said this, and it kind of like really made me think. Albert Einstein said, if a cluttered desk is a sign of a cluttered mind, what is the empty desk a sign of? Think about that. Like, a lot if you deal with, and, and I, I love documentaries, and I love looking at people that have had success in their life and just watching what they do, whether they're an athlete or a movie star or or they ran for president of the United States or held that office. Like, one of the things that I would say is, and Tony Robbins says this a lot, if you're looking for balance in your life, you're probably looking for an empty desk and an empty mind. Think about it. If you're looking for balance, like you're like, I just want to live just this life of Zen. Guess what? <laughs> Did you like the way I said that, Andrew? So if you if you're looking for that, just that calm life that okay, well, you're probably gonna have an empty desk and an empty mind. But if you're out trying to thrive and you're moving and you're growing and you're you're impacting the life that you're living, it's gonna be cluttered. It's going to be a little messy. And I think we got to give ourselves grace for the mess and we got to embrace it. And yesterday I didn't do such a great job embracing the mess. I, 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 I wanted to just take my arm and just knock the mess off the table. Andrea went off the screen, so I don't know if she liked that or didn't. But anyway. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> so life's messy. You know why? Because we're messy. People are messy. And I say this a lot on here, but I, there's only been one perfect human that walked this world, and it's not me. And I mess up every day, 
And I've got to give other people the grace to mess up too and be okay with that without lashing out. So I got to embrace the mess in my life, but I've also got to give people grace to embrace, embrace the mess in theirs because we're messy humans. And a lot of times we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to have it all together, to be buttoned up like, oh, I'm so good. I got all this stuff. And then it just builds and builds and builds until we have this explosion, okay? And it's like, we're not always going to keep our lives neat and tidy. We've got to embrace the mess and realize that through striving and through growing, if we don't, you know, it, it's not going to look clean all the time. And that's okay. Okay. Um, and I guess I'm going to end with this and turn it to you, Andrea. If we don't embrace the mess, then we will let the happiness of today pass us by. And man, have I done that. Like I'll be with my kids, but I mean, I'm, my mind is in the mess. And what am I missing? What am I letting pass me by? The happiness of the time with my kids. That's what really matters. So this lesson this morning for me was, look, Brent, things are going to be messy. Don't let the happiness pass you by. Like just embrace the mess. It's okay. Give yourself grace and then live in the moment. And, and go out today, listen to the birds chirp, take the pictures of the trees, even though it's messy. You're with the kids, embrace the kids, have fun, laugh, cut up, quit being so serious, okay? Because if you're not, these 24 hours will pass. And guess what? Tomorrow will come when it's, it's next day of mess, okay? So just, all right, Andrea, man, I, put me in the pulpit this morning. I feel like I'm pretty... <laughs> Okay. Well, I love from the pulpit you backhanded and and <laughs> Hill said that I ducked. So in other words, he was saying I was the mess. I actually wasn't for a change. I don't think I was the mess yesterday, but it could be. Um, but that made me giggle. I actually have a case of the yawns. I don't oh. know why I'm so yawny, but I was trying to turn off my camera so I wasn't yawning while you were speaking. So it came from a place of respect, but I am very yawny right now. But anyway, um, the quote that I found was, if it's not a mess, it's not progress. And that's Robin Sharma. And I think so many times, kind of like that empty desk, I laugh so hard. Like I must have a very busy brain <laughs> because I've got a very big mess. And so like, that's great, right? Like sometimes we think that everything's supposed to be cool, calm and collected and like success and life is gonna be this like nice, even keel. And you know what? I gotta say, sometimes that sounds really attractive, right? Like if we could just be calm and collected at all times, that sounds lovely. But I think that our mess is what makes us us right? It's what makes us relatable. It would, it's what makes us real and it helps us strengthen the connections in our life, right? Like it makes us real humans that other people can raise their hand and say, oh, I can relate to that. I'm that way too. My desk is also a mess. My brain is also a little bit cluttered. And like, that is how I live because I think I could be wrong. But my guess is that there's a lot more people running around a little bit with their hair on fire than there are people just calm and collected and just living their life easy peasy. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I kind of like this wild and crazy roller coaster that we're on, and I'm so grateful for it. So how do we embrace the mess, right? How do we live in a space where we embrace that? Well, first of all, we got to look for the positive. So even in those moments of absolute chaos, and I tell you guys about the dishes, like when I walk into the kitchen and I'm like, oh, holy smokes. And I've had this recently where I'm like, I don't even understand how my house looks like this. I don't even know how this is possible. It was clean on Wednesday, you know, just one week ago. And, and today it looks like I don't know what it looks like. It's a little terrifying in here. Come on over if you're good at cleaning. And, but the positive is, well, my babies are here. 
My house was so clean while they both were gone. I knew where everything was. There was not a single dish in the sink because nobody was cooking. <laughs> um, and everything was easy peasy. But yeah, now there's chaos, but this heart's so happy because I've got my baby. So we can always, in whatever chaos that we're in, in any mess, we can find that positive. Next, we've got to avoid dichotomies. And I'll tell you, this is the hardest thing for a person like me. I am a black and white person. I am a yes or no person. Everything's got is either fair or unfair. And I live kind of with a little bit of a narrow perspective, perhaps. But what we have to realize if we live like me is that this world is full of shades of gray. There are, there's no right way. There's not a one way. There's a variety of ways of being, of doing. And so it, it can help us deal with the mess to realize, and I'm trying really hard not to sneeze, but it can, it can help us to realize that everything is not black and white. And for some of us, this could be a little bit more of a struggle. Next, I've got to remind myself that I don't know everything. And again, sometimes I can think that I do. Um, so if I realize that I don't have all the answers, and maybe this mess is leading me there. That can help me manage it a little bit better. Um, swap shoes for a little while. So when I'm in the middle of, of chaos or a mess and I'm thinking I'm right, maybe somebody else is wrong. If I put on their footwear and walk around in it for a minute, I can realize that maybe things aren't quite as black and white as I thought. Um, next is to focus on what you can control. So we are surrounded by chaos and things that are outside our control. And if we focus there, we're going to drive ourselves absolutely, well, crazy. I almost went down a, a, a wrong path. You guys know the saying, um, maybe you don't, then you're a better person than I am. But if you do, then you know, we could drive ourselves really crazy. So focus on the things that we can control. Next is to let go of expectations. We can walk into a room or an event or a trip or whatever. And we have this, as Brent likes to say, that Chevy Chase moment in our head. And we're, the life doesn't look like that, right? Life is messy. So if I can release those expectations, I can let it go. And then I'm going to say lastly, and anybody that knows GJR, this is something that he used to say from the stage all the time. And that's make your mess your message. We all have messes. And our messes can bless so many lives if we lean into them, right? Instead of hiding it, instead of running from it, instead of pretending it's not there. If we lean into that mess and try to grow and learn and share, we can absolutely make a message out of it and bless so many lives. So that's what I had this morning, coach. Sorry for the yawns, but. No, great, great message. And, and I want to end this with this as we leave, because I know it's time, but, uh, as we end, let's don't be like, I'm talking to myself, so judgmental on other people's messes. Mm. Okay. Because they could point fingers back at me. So I just thought of that as you were talking. I thought so many times I'm super critical of other people, the company of this, they need to do this. And it's like, oh, I got my own issues. Don't worry. I got my own issues. So I don't want to be that person either. So guys, love you so much. It is time to sing Alan Schultz. Happy birthday from yesterday. We are not missing it. So I think you saved it for me because uh, I sent him a message. I'm like, I'm so sorry to miss right. your song. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.